Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. I'm Amy, if you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Today we are going to make little personal pan pizzas using only your sourdough discard. They uh, will be very thin and crispy, so if you like a thin crust pizza, you really want to try this recipe. So let's go get started. The first thing that you want to do is get your oven ready. So you'll want to adjust the racks to where the top one is about two spaces down from the broiler, and then the bottom rack is you know below that to where you can fit your cast iron in. And we're going to preheat this in a 400 and 50 degree oven and get it really nice and hot. This pan has been heating up for a good 15-20 minutes so it's really really hot. So make sure you use gloves to take it out. And you're going to want to pour just a little bit of oil into the pan and let it get all over if, if you need to. You can use a paper towel to help spread that oil because you don't want too much oil, okay? Maybe a tablespoon at the most. And then I'm going to pour the sourdough starter, okay? This is just unfed sourdough starter directly in this pan, okay? And I want to get about three quarter cup of it, no more than that. If you put more than that in this pan, it'll be too thick and it's not going to cook right. So, let me get my gloves back on. I want to swirl this around. See how it's coated the entire bottom of this pan? We're going to go ahead and put it back into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, and we're going to let that cook. All right, let's go ahead and take this out. And you'll see that the piece is already kind of curling up on the edges. Sometimes it does this and sometimes it doesn't. So now I'm going to turn the oven off and I'm going to turn the broiler. I like to put mine on low just so it doesn't overcook at anything. So let's go ahead and put toppings on. And one of the reasons why you want to make sure you don't put too much starter down is because you'll have a very soggy crust. But if you get it really super thin, it's not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead. We're just going to make a basic pizza, cheese, and some pepperoni. And then once we get this loaded up, we're going to stick it under that broiler. So that way the cheese can melt and the pepperoni can crisp up. And It'll be really, really good. All right. So let's go ahead and put this under the broiler. And it's only gonna take about one to two minutes under that broiler. All right, let's take this out before it gets too, oops. There. And then you just use a spatula to lift it out of the pan and on to some parchment paper. And so you can see the, the edges will get a little bit crispy. You, if you don't like that, just kind of knock them off. It's real easy. Again, this is a really thin crust. So let's go ahead and cut it. can hear how crispy that is. See? You can see how the bottom gets all nice and crispy too. So just make sure you serve it right away. If you wait too long, the crust will start getting a little soggy. But again, it is just a really good thin crust pizza. I 
I really hope that you like this recipe. If you try it, make sure you comment below and let us know how it turned out. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.